uh, from when he was supposed to leave the company paid him half salary for all those three months until august and you know it was amazing we were never short on cash and my mom also she never lost her job she was able to go for the she, to go to a workplace and there was no lack in my mom's company also and yeah so then in august uh my dad's company decided to not pay the half salary of the crew and we didn't we were not afraid we thanked god and then we got a notice that my dad was called to go and join the ship in august and his contract would be till january so praise god my dad was able to go then he started to get his full salary and my mom also got a full salary and then like there was this one point where our neighbors were really harassing us and i didn't know what to do it it was really bad so um i i was watching the jcilm children and youth ministry so like i i saw jade's number was there so i contacted jade and i told her all about it about the neighbors troubling and that time i i used to not listen to the teachings as much as i do now so jade prayed about the neighbors and it subsided after some time and the 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 person who was troubling us he went back to work abroad so he was not there and when he is not there it's like peaceful so after that like i started to listen to the teachings more often and uh uh it it started to change my life my mom's life and we decided we wanted to minister to other people and we were able to and i i couldn't speak in tongues until after i started constantly meditating on the word and then i received the gift of tongues and then um yeah i wanted to reach out to people and somehow through one of my colleague we ended up at a pastor's place who was uh, giving the word a small group maybe eight to seven people in his house so we went there we gave our testimonies and there were a lot of people there they were depressed um you know frustrated and all and now we are giving them the word and introducing them to the teaching and then we realized it's not just us there are like so many people around who are giving them the word and praise god like it's amazing like i can see our life has changed from what it used to be to what it is now and i'm i'm just every day is a growing process and every day is a new day to further deepen a relationship with god it's what i realized yeah there are ups and downs but we can only overcome it through jesus so that's all i wanted to say it's my amen best. beautiful amen. beverly praise, praise god amen. praise thank god all glory to god praise god beautiful. beautiful and so nice to know no you know now that you're sharing the word you know yes. because yes. you understood you know how how you know holy spirit has helped you how jesus helped you to get out of those problems and now you are so happy to go out and share what uh, jesus has done for you beautiful continue beautiful. this good work and be in this word you know day and night meditate that's really going to help you and your family praise god amen amen praise god amen and uh, your mom also want to share am i right <laughs> my mom is yeah. not there sister she left her phone with me today okay yeah she's at the she was, office yeah she was uh, she was the one was touched by papa am i right yes yes yeah she was she was the one because mm-hmm. when papa used to come to raya am i right yes yes yeah 
That's wow. Cool. Praise God. Praise yes. God. Anybody else would like to share? Giselle, come on. Giselle, yes, please go ahead. Hello, praise God, everyone. I um, praise God. I would like to actually, um, it's not my testimony, but it's something that I've seen in my life. Uh, I've seen this change right in front of me in my life, and this is th- this is something that that's happened with my mom. So, um, my my mom, when she was younger, she would always she would she would always be the one going going to church and speaking out loud, and speaking in front of groups, reading, doing the readings. She she was really active. Um, in this way, but as uh, as she became an adult, and she, God's blessings were just pouring on her, and she, uh, she's she, she's a doer of the word of God, and she's witnessed so many miracles. Especially like she all, and whenever she meets anyone, she always glorifies God by testif- testifying about how she conceived me because because she never believed what the doctors told her and she always believed what she wanted to see there, there, there were always um, like the doctors and the reports would, would always w- wouldn't align with her, her vision and her vision was me her baby but she always she always had faith in God she always thought that if God has brought her to there, why wouldn't God take her ahead? And and that's how I was born because of her, because of her faith in God's love. And yeah, she would testify this to everyone individually, but she's always had this fear that would engulf her to testify in front of a crowd. I would always tell Mama, you, you always spread God's love individually to people. Why don't you, why don't you go and we 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 used to be in um another prayer group another prayer ministry and there were so many other ladies I mean sorry there there were so many other the, a lot of people they would just go and preach and give the word of God and Mama is so good in knowing doing that individually she when especially with her friends like whenever they um, whenever they would meet up she she would speak to them and anyone even. Through through a call and her her language is the word of God, but on on an individual basis. But she would never go up in front of a crowd and speak and speak. And I just asked her why, and um, she told me that once when when she was when she was a child, she uh, she had um, she was she stammered by mistake. In front of a big crowd, and, and since then, that seed of fear had deposited in her, and it only kept growing and growing. And so, the very thought of speaking up in front of a crowd would just give her shivers. It would engulf her. The fear would speak to her rather than she speaking to the fear. And in the beginning of the year, right before I left for uni university, I asked. Mama, the same question again. Why don't you go? You're so good in in spreading God's love individually. You, whenever when I wasn't in the word, I would just cry up to Mama, and she would uh, she she would speak God's love to me. God's love would be reflected to me through her. And then I asked her why. Why don't you speak in front of a crowd? And then she was just crying. She said that just that I don't know. I just I stammer. I I shiver thinking about it. I really want to glorify God on a huge platform. I really want to do that through. Uh, but I don't know what's stopping me. I can't. I really can't. It's just. And she was just weeping and weeping. I remember that night because you know when when the enemy tricks you in your mind, he makes it so real. He makes especially when you when. Um, when you believe his lies for a long period of time, it's a stronghold, 
and only jesus and only the love of god can set you free only the love of jesus can break those chains i thought deeply and um then and she was crying and i told and i was in the world at all uh, I, i but whenever any time before an exam i would have a lot of fear and any and i would doubt myself i just knew one thing like if i told mama to pray my exam would go good and it, when when mama says something and when mama prays my exam will go good because i had that much faith in mama and i thought to myself if if she can if if she can just um pray about my exam and god listens to her this is nothing like this fear is nothing i couldn't understand her fear but i just knew one thing that th- this fear is, is gone is gone and that is going and i told her in the beginning of the year the mama by the end of this year this this fear is gone this fear is gone and god has such great plans for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you to give you hope in a future such great plans for you greater than you can ever imagine and i didn't i didn't even know that it was efficiency 320 but i i said it out i knew it was the holy spirit speaking through me and now when i look at god's blessings for mama now i'm just i'm just amazed in the beginning of the year she was trembling thinking about the thought of speaking to p- people in a group even a small group she the, the thought would the fear would engulf her because the the enemy had total Uh, had conquered her totally but but now she knows the truth and the truth has set her free so all glory to god and i'm yes, i'm so happy for my mama yes, god. I, yes, god. Um, it's it's all, it's all it's all glory to jesus all glory yes. to jesus the way he was yes, thank you our jesus mama is thoughts. the greatest to this thing you know the one who talks too much in our this thing mighty <laughs> <laughs> warrior mighty warrior she doesn't <laughs> talk too much it's all about god god's word <laughs> yeah, yeah. please go i i i, I really do know so that uh, she really is going now? to be talking about me now i'm actually in tears i just want to thank and praise god praise because god. i didn't know i thought she had some you know one testimony to actually say i didn't even know about it but i want to just glorify god i i just yes. can't thank and glorify god for what he's you know how as she said how the enemy had trapped me before but exactly. now i know it, it it's the lie of a devil, devil and he is. he knew what it was you know what potential that god had put in me yes. and uh, now that i know and never 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 praise even god. he can come praise and snip me or me praise yes. god praise all praise glory god. to god all glory to god, god. Yes. Thank, thank you jessel thank, thank you for your yes. yes thank you so much thank you so, so much beautiful thank you so marina marina yes please yes. go ahead Yeah, my voice is a bit. Uh, no problem. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong. It's all yeah. good and clear, Marina. Oh, please please go can hear. Praise God. God. Praise God. God. Yeah, the other day when all of you prayed over me when I had temperature, I knew God has already healed me. But God really did heal me. I was very happy that I have great warriors as a family for me, always fighting on my behalf. I thank and praise God every time for this group. and i want to testify i was after the fever left i was feeling a bit weak and i was turning pale so doctor asked me to do a cbp a general uh, blood test i know that i already healed so all the symptoms i never used to believe but since doctor said it like i said i will go because i know that already my reports are normal uh, just a simple blood test because that kind of medication i am taking it's a very strong dose and uh, there are a lot of symptoms they said god is already uh, being with me in every uh, phase of my life that i'm going through because i don't believe the lies of the devil anymore after getting into the word i just keep on quoting the scriptures and lovely scriptures the group keeps posting every day i read it even i'm sick and uh, julieta said sleep if you are not able to sit and listen at least sleep and listen i was doing this and i went for a blood test and uh, when i was giving the blood also I was saying oh you jesus your blood is in me so nothing can be wrong in my blood i know the reports are going to come normal but i want to glorify you lord i know 
and I went for a blood test and I was not at all tensed and worried. Now, not even a bad thought like what could come my test and why am I going weak and all that. But I just kept the word of God speaking and I kept confessing the word of God. And uh, my blood test reports came. Everything is normal. Do good doctors, very happy with the report that I have. He said the uh, hemoglobin level, everything is normal. Wherein the medicines which I take, it should go down. The hemoglobin level should go down. I, I look pale. I look weak. I look pale. But I said, this is all the symptoms of the evil which is trying to fool me. He's a liar. So I'm not going to believe because the precious blood of Jesus is already in my body. I went ahead with the test. And I'm glorifying God that all my reports are normal as of now. Thank and praise God. Thank you and praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. We all agree that the yes, reports are amen. all clear in Jesus' name. Praise amen. 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 Ashwila, you want to testify regarding um, Parzana? Sister, she will uh, give it herself. It's in. Okay, in brief, you can yes. use it. Uh, yes, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, um, yeah, this uh, girl, when I went to the saloon, I met her over there. And uh, she's a Muslim girl. And uh, she, when I left, she took my number from the book and she called me and she said, I need the help. Can you help me? And I was like, uh, yes, uh, sure. What can I do for you? And she said, you know, uh, first she told me about her sister that every time the proposal comes, uh, it's uh, they see her and they don't come back. Or either they see her and say something and they leave. So when I told Sister Juleta about this girl, I said, uh, 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 I told her like certain scriptures I give her. I say, say the spirit of the Lord is upon uh, the boy and God's favor is on me. Uh, first, I was a little bit scared because she's a Muslim. and uh, But then she said, no, I since we are staying in Goa, we believe in Jesus. I sometimes read the Bible also. So it was easier for me. And then um, uh, I came and told her about that. And she said, okay, fine. And then uh, she said, also... Uh, uh, their house they asked them to change they were staying in the rented house and um, uh, she said their landlord says uh, you know you have to leave the house uh, she's giving them uh, like a certain time and they have to leave so I um, told sister Julieta and um, Flor and Janet all they got together and they did a prayer with her and uh, oh, sorry I yeah, uh, they did the prayers with her and they said uh, to believe and she believed and then she's telling me, please help me to look for a house, you know, and I said, only five days are left, she sent me a message. So I said, don't worry, Jesus has his own plans for sure, there will must be something planned for you. Uh, I said, I just said it to her like, you know, maybe the landlord will say, don't leave, you, you just have to stay there. So she says three. Days, she says tomorrow, uh, like another one day is left. I don't know what to do. Where we'll go? And uh, on the same day, her landlord told her, "You stay back." So she just texted me from work, and she said, uh, "You know, the landlord said, uh, uh, stay, stay uh, back. You can stay here." So uh, she was very excited about her sister. There is no uh, reply, but I'm sure she is going to be blessed. Yeah, she as well. replied me, Ashwila. She Ashwila. said before getting that uh, job, this thing house. She told me I am depending on Jesus. Everything I I know, my Jesus will do it for me. Oh, and she saw two three uh, houses. And the last day when she was about to leave that house, that day the owner of the house came and told that uh, you can use the house, the same place. So she was excited with that. With the faith, got she got the, got the same uh, place for her this house. No need to Hallelujah. move. Praise Hallelujah. God. Yeah, praise God. Yeah, Thank I understand Jesus. that. Yes. When she was yes. telling me, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I when agree. she said that she had, uh, you know, I'm, I really, uh, I'm, I'm so touched. Uh, though, you know, um, she was uh, full, so excited about everything. She knew mm. about the house that she was going to get and she packed everything. But, uh, and, but she, the thing is that she faith, had faith. faith. She had faith. She knew, she knew, you know, how Jesus loves her. And, you know, he's never going to abandon her or forsake her. 
and that's yes. what is a testimony that you know the owner came up to her and told her to yes, stay yes that is Wow. The, the same owner Praise told God. her to leave the house. Yes, that was the, the power of uh, this thing. Only she was confessing. Uh, look, eighteen uh, nineteen, four eighteen nineteen. Yes, yes, and uh, with faith, and she had a confidence, confidence in the Jesus that he, Jesus yes. will do something. She was saying yes. that. Yes, that was Praise the thing. God. I in uh, this thing, uh, Janet ministered her, and that day she did a salvation prayer with us. Am I right, Janet? Yes. yes, yes, we did the yes. yes, yeah. Even one said Flo was also messaging her, and thank you, Ashvila, for reaching out to others. God bless you, my yes, girl. Yes, thank God. God. Anyone want to share? Uh, yes, a uh, sister, I want to share um, uh, the thing I had on my skin. Mm -hmm. uh, patches I had got white patches on my uh, right side of my cheek. and then i started seeing them on the mirror and i was getting bit irritated like okay and then i told sister juleta she made a prayer and she said uh, uh, say like um, i'm um, washed with precious blood i have a baby skin in jesus name without noticing i realized that all the skin is come on one tone and the patches are gone without even showing the doctor or neither i took anything it was all glory and praise to god mm -hmm. Hallelujah! Praise, Praise God. God! Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus! God, glory Hallelujah. to God! Hallelujah! Ima, you want to share anything? Um, yeah. Uh, Praise the Lord, sister. Um, Praise the Lord. Yeah, it's uh, just a small thing, but uh, still, like when you pray two, three, three days before, because the antibiotic which I'm taking more than one thousand mg, I usually never take anything uh, like not even. Three to four hundred mg also uh, makes me that's what mouth ulcer and thing. But that day everyone you prayed and uh, I started confessing that uh, um, Matthew sixteen seventeen. Um, if you take the deadliest poison, so it's it's been uh, three four days, uh, sister. Now I that I'm do I'm taking the tablet, but I don't even uh, have any any kind of side effects. I it's really it's, uh, it's really. Uh, Uh, it's amazing for me. Otherwise, like Praise I used God. to do many uh, side uh, disadvantage or uh, side effects like uh, mouth ulcer and constipation. Everything, everything is going well, and uh, I praise God for it. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, and thank praise you, God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's lovely. Let's let Papa start. Anyone want to share? I want to uh, share. Uh, you know. Uh, So I have this uh, testimony. I know, you know, earlier uh, I'm sure everybody knows about the rents in uh, Dubai. Earlier every year, whenever there was a renewal, it used to be like, you know, my husband used to say, "Please come along." At least you speak there. Okay, again comes the speaking thing. You speak, you know. I know you speak. You plead, and you know he will listen and things like that. And I had, to, I used to go okay happily because, and I used to talk and I said, "Please, you know, can you do?" And all of that I used to say. But this time it was very different. I said, but why should I go? You know that two hours going, coming, and you know I can you know sit and listen to the word of God and you know make my notes as usual. You know my daily prayers. I can because if I go in the morning, then you know I have to wait and come back. All of that. But no, I said no. I am not going to I'm, because I started praying long ago when I knew that you know one week back that we had to uh, you know pray for this uh, renewal. And it was this time. It was not me. It's just not us. But it was for the entire people. You know that the uh, rents be reduced for everyone. So I took Luke four eighteen, and I was, you know, I was praying, and also Isaiah forty eight seventeen, which this was my husband had given me long back, which he had it. He heard about a testimony, so I said, uh, Isaiah forty eight seventeen, which says, "I am the Lord your God who teaches you to profit, who leads you uh, by the way you should go." Mm -hmm. So this time I told my husband, "Listen, you know, it's done in Jesus' name that the rents are reduced for everyone, and all glory to God. You just carry on." So he said, "Okay, okay, go, okay," he said, and you know he went. and uh, and i did not call him to you know what did he say and all of that i didn't want to because i knew and i knew that you know my uh, god uh, has answered my prayers and it's my time to give him you know all the glory and keep thanking the lord so uh, after some time uh, i have actually happened to call for something else and then i just asked him have you gone and come and done he said yes yes i'll tell you later and then all that i knew was the rents were reduced and for the first time which never happened you know the parking also was reduced so all praise glory God, and praise to jesus 
you thank know you, thank you jesus. jesus for this powerful truth for teaching us the powerful truth yes. and holy yes. spirit for showing us how the principles of kingdom of heaven works you know when you yes. hold on to the truth and the truth is going to set you free all glory to god praise you jesus thank you, thank you jesus. jesus praise you jesus anyone want to share anything oh well, let's start hello hello yes I can hear you anybody wants to share the testimony would you like to raise your hand please yes only to glorify god hello yes, yes. Yes, we can hear you, sister. We can hear you, sister. Please go ahead. Chanita. Yeah, hi. All glory to God. I was. Uh, it was last week when I, I uh, lost my visa card, which I usually put in my pant pocket, you know, to go out. I don't want to carry my purse, so I just slip it into my uh, pocket and just go to the groceries and come back. So last Saturday when I went there, I bought the groceries and came back. and i forgot to put it back into my purse so i was just i just didn't uh, remember and first I, i there was a little incident where it came to my mind that i have to check uh, put it back into the purse but then something else happened and i just went the other way forgot about it so I, the next morning i went in, went to work on sunday and i was checking for it because i had to get some stuff for the office i said oh it's not here so where is it so that i remember it uh, the holy spirit kind of reminded me that is in my pant pocket when i came home in the evening i searched the the pants that i wore and it wasn't there then i it, so my thinking was wrong and i and then i said there's one in the toilet let me go and check there yeah, that was another instant that you know he reminded me go into the washroom and see where it is so i looked into the pant and i was saying holy spirit please help me i i know it's in this one and i put my hand there and i said oh yes it is there so all glory to god he just praise hit. god yes so oh, i was god. because i didn't want to go and get the bank to do all these you know changes and stuff like that i was like what it but praise i found god. it and then i said never more i'm going to just leave it in my pant pocket i just put it back into the purse and uh, all glory to god i just needed to testify this thank you Praise thank you. you thank, thank you praise thank you God. for testifying janita yes uh, i want yes. to t- uh, share this a small testimony uh, not a small testimony and i'm going to be quick juliet um you know uh, this is one of my <laughs> husband's staff whose father uh, was in coma and the doctors had given up hope and doctor said you know you can take your father back and uh, while he was going he was crying but all that we did was you know whatever we could teach we could minister this person we did and uh, given the scriptures and in the meantime my husband and i we did the uh, agreement prayer and uh, we declared 1 peter 224 and then uh, after some time when a uh, few days back you know he called us and he called us that time he was crying and all and this time he was sounding so happy and he said the same doctor who said you know no hope and the same doctor said now your father is responding and uh, nothing to worry now he he is good now he's come out of all of that so all glory to god thanks be to god praise you jesus thank, thank you, you jesus. jesus praise you jesus thank you yes. jesus even praise two day yeah can you speak yes sir sure sure sir yes yeah uh and uh, just on recently for this intercession ministry i had uh, asked uh, sister kiyomi i had messaged her personally on the whatsapp about one of my uh, client's son 22 years old uh, reports are showing chronic leukemia and uh, so when i sent the message she replied back that uh, after this that we have already made a prayer and don't worry she'll be fine and sister her sister aster also called me and uh, last night we got the reports and i checked with my other friend who is a pathologist she told me cynthia all the reports are just mild with the medications and treatment he will be fine sorry for the noise 
so uh, i praise and glorify god and i spoke to the mother also i explained to her and uh, she she told us that there is lot of improvement now he is able to eat food and uh, there's no pain or anything and he is not feeling weakness because his reports were showing like he needs blood transfusion and all so she she's telling that there is lot of improvement in his health so i praise and glorify god and i want to thank everyone who prayed for dean Praise Thank Jesus. you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Four days back, I minister one um, couple, elderly couple, and uh, they have a lot of issues like you know, um, daughter-in-laws and all that issue with that. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I, uh, that man had a uh, COVID, and his legs were swell, all swollen, and he couldn't walk. so i just did a divine exchange with uh, with them and after that uh, just i told him to walk look for 18 19 and he was he was telling now no heaviness is not there no pain is not there in that legs mm-hmm. and he was completely healed by the power of god yes god. thank you jesus happy. praise god thank you jesus thank you jesus jesus glory to your mighty god Next time I call them, there was no complaints, nothing. Only glorifying God. This couple is good. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Lord, for all these testimonies. We give you all glory and honor and praise, Lord Jesus. Yes. It's all glory to God. And yes. thank you, everyone, for your testimonies. God bless you all. Papa, can we start? Yes. Can we start, please, brother? Surely we can start. is good in all this testimonies i was just praising god that how simple people heard the word began to change their thinking took the truth and changed their life and that is so beautiful about the word of god praise god praise god is good that when you understand the truth the truth makes you completely free so today i was thinking about what should i talk to all this beautiful woman of god so i decided what do i speak So I decided to preach on an uncommon woman who had an uncommon focus, who who directed her energy towards the future. An uncommon woman with an uncommon focus. she focused her uncommon energy towards her future praise god so i am talking to all the great anointed women of god in this uh, group you all are powerful thinkers because god has given you a very powerful gift called multitasking and therefore you are a powerful thinker but let us make a decision to be a tomorrow thinker and not a past thinker did you get that be yes. more a yes. tomorrow thinker and not a past thinker make your thinking your future so significant loaded with the promises of god that your painful past has to just disappear mm-hmm. now what i find in this group is no matter her person comes with whatever problems julieta fleur janet and melba and all the others who are there you all are trying to tell the woman listen what is your present situation is a past we have all been there some even more more sorrowful and painful than the person who has come 
but at the same time you are trying to tell that person listen your past does not dictate your future it is your present that you plant the seed for your future that will change your present into a grand future so in the bible there is a woman called ruth and ruth created a future so different from her past so much different and if ruth who had such a terrible past and could become such an uh such a god set future that even the son of god lord jesus came from the bloodline of ruth now those who do not know ruth let me tell you ruth was a mobite girl and she was raised in heathenism and the culture in which ruth came was extremely extremely cursed by god and the reason was that moab was the son of a physical relationship between the father and his daughter so you can imagine so bad was the the bloodline that the daughter got her father drunk and in his drunken mind unsound mind had a physical relationship so that she could get pregnant and have a son and the son was moab and ruth came from this tribe of moab so this was the totally cursed tribe where there was no tolerance now ruth even though she came from such a bad background when her husband died she was the daughter in law of naomi naomi told her to go back to her people there was two daughter in laws ruth and opa and she told them to go back to their own people because she had no more sons to help them one daughter in law opa she went back to her people and naomi was a jew whose husband had come to this land because there was famine in israel and what he had thought of coming on a temporary basis he got stuck there he died his two sons died because god's word said that anyone who gets involved in this cursed people the curse would go on for generations so even though it was for food it only brought curses and ruth was the daughter in law so naomi heard that there is food back in israel so she made up her mind that she is going back to her own land to her own people so she told ruth you can go back to your people i want to release you and you can get married but ruth on the other side said i'm not going anywhere i'm going to be with you from now on your people are my people your god is my god and everything you do i do the same so ruth stayed back and went with naomi and came back to the land of israel a total different culture and she began to go to 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 work in the fields of boys where she 
got in touch with boys and boys got married to ruth and so came from them they produced obed and obed produced jesse and from jesse came david so in other words ruth was the great grandmother of david the greatest warrior israel had ever known david and she was the great great grandmother of solomon one of the wisest men who ever lived on earth so through ruth and boaz came the precious son of the living god jesus of nazareth so today god wants to tell you wonderful people wonderful sisters of mine mighty anointed woman of god that god never cancels your past to decide your future it is satan who keeps reminding you of yesterday's mistakes he wants you to remember the mistakes over and over again so that he can keep you in guilt all your life and you will keep on rehearsing the past what people have done or what you have done and never plant the seed to move forward so the lord is saying do not listen to satan your past is over it is nailed on the cross and now you have a great future so trust in the lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path so remember your past is over so act like your past is over talk like your past is over and live like your past is over so remember the uncommon woman will always focus her energy not towards the past but towards the future amen to it amen amen and amen. amen amen is that right yes yes sir yes, that's right hello is that right yes yes sir yes, brother right. yes yes brother am, am, am i talking to anointed woman of god yes brother yes yes, yes. yes brother now remember that we all men and women are humans we are not god neither do we have angels wings so as human beings we are all capable and having the possibility of making mistakes so how many of you know that you are 100% without mistakes not possible you are all imperfect so once you understand that mistakes will occur so what will be my response to my mistakes when the mistakes are already committed can i still turn these mistakes and still walk into victory walk into into success yes. and that is what psalm 103 was 13 and 14 says can somebody put that scripture if you can on the screen somebody can do that from the co-host share your screen and if you can't no can problem read that uh, brother yeah no, some sir 13 and 14 calling can you do that baba i'll try sister yeah 
Hundred and thirteen. Hundred and three. Hundred and three. Thirteen and fourteen. By the time you can read, Janet. I'll read it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. As a father has compassion. Slowly, 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 Janet, 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 yes, yes, Janet, yes, Janet, <laughs> Janet. Yes, yes. I recognize your voice, Janet. <laughs> yes, brother. I'll say it slowly. As a okay. father. <laughs> has compassion for his children so the lord has compassion for those who fear him okay 14 for he knows how we were made he remembers that we are dust so you as a mother do you believe your children are still learning janet yes brother they are learning are they trained no they are work in progress yes so when a person is work in progress and a learning student is it possible for the student to make mistakes yes possible to make mistakes so the lord is saying god is saying as a father has compassion as the father pities his children so the the lord has compassion to those who fear him those who love him for he knows our weaknesses and he remembers that we are dust now now god knows that we being imperfect we are bound to make mistakes and that is why he has compassion now when i say i am a human being so can i justify that i am a human being hello have you ever heard people say i am just a human being Yes brother. yes brother yeah yes now a person can use this one statement and give excuse for every mistakes another person can say i am a human being and therefore a human being can learn things that he doesn't know and train himself and go higher and higher and be stronger and stronger so somebody will use the term i am only a human being and that's why i make mistakes the other person will say i am a human being and therefore even though i make mistakes i can learn and overcome my mistakes now which category do we come i can say i am a human being and when i make mistakes and the person says you made this mistake and you quickly jump to him and say don't you know i am a human being i'm bound to make mistakes one two you made mistakes and somebody corrected you and you are saying thank god i am a human being and not an animal i have got brains and god has given me the mind of christ i can improve and come back to you and i will overcome this weakness with good praise god now praise god thousand to learn to accept themselves as human beings also you learn to apply the word of god in their life and now learning to apply the word of god in their life they are enjoying life so much better so much deeper and so much supernatural has this been happening to you yes brother yes 
Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So when you say you are a human being, you say you are a human being because God is my creator and I am his child. And because I now know that I am his child, I am no longer pursuing the things of this world, but I am pursuing the one who made this world. I am pursuing his divine nature that is formed within me. I am practicing and learning to live by the new nature that God has given to me. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Now, what happens when a person has done some mistakes? Go to Proverbs chapter 28 verse 7. Proverbs. Proverbs 28 verse, brother. Hello. Hello. Give me a second. He's rejoining. Okay. Okay. I think you're on mute. Hello, can you hear me? Now He's we can muted. hear you. Okay, I don't know how it became. We missed that till Proverbs 28, you said, and then after that, the verse 20. Okay, I wanted to ask is there anybody from Goa? Yes, brother. We are all from Goa. All from Goa. Most so of us. Goa, so those who are from Goa, I want to let you know, I'm going to Goa on okay. the 14, 15 and 16. And I'm having a retreat there in a place called Jagniman. Oh, Jagni. yeah. Martha. I know that. Man. Yes, yes. It's Where near for it? me, brother. Which near Margao. Margao, Margao. Margao. Ah, Navili. Yes. Navili. Navili, okay. So, okay, so, okay, brother. So, no, Oh, those okay. who know, you can spread the news that yes, I'm brother. coming to Navili, Navili, okay. Um, okay, for three it's days, 14, 15, and 16. Brother, it is it's Manu's place, no? Manu's place. The the Manu's a, place. Yes, I know the that. Manu's place. So he has been kind enough to give me the place for yes, three days. Good. And... Uh, the, 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 what I was having a new creation home, the same system, no collection, everything free. Praise God. Praise God. Wow, praise God. He, he agreed to give me for three days. So praise God. Praise God. So I go there, preach for three days. So I don't own anything. I don't have to pay anything. God has promoted me. So I don't have to pay anybody's salary or any expenses. It is free for me. It is free for people. So then who is going to pay the bills for the lunch? God will do the news. God. So Proverbs 28, 13. Proverbs 28, 13. 1, 3. So y'all are the first ones who got this news. Oh, praise God, yes. Praise God. <sighs> So Proverbs 28.13. Okay. Should I read, brother? 13? Mm. Yeah. No one who conceals transgressions will prosper. But one who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. So the one who is covering his sin He is hiding the sin inside of him and still continues to live a sinful life or a disobedient life. Such a person shall not prosper. Such a person comes under a curse. But whosoever confesses 
and after confession acknowledges his mistake and for six them shall have mercy so if you want from a cursed life to turn into a prosperous life then the first thing is i must recognize i must admit my mistakes to myself so you can write down the first point i must recognize and admit any mistake to myself i should not justify it should not lie to myself because the scripture says he that hides his sins conceals his sin shall not prosper but whosoever confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy praise god praise god the second point is 1 john 1:9 1 John 1 9. Mm -hmm. Read 1 John 1 9, please. Janet? Yes, yes, brother. One John uh, 1 9. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Praise God. Praise God. So the second point is we must confess my mistakes to God. We must confess my mistakes to god now what is the meaning of the word confess you must uh, feel sorry you must speak out oh. yeah. The word confess means to speak as it is. Speak. Okay. Now, did David conceal his sin with Bathsheba? Yes. Yes. To cover up his sin, did he kill his kill a husband? Yes. Yes. Did he conceal everything? Yes. Yes. Was he a man of God? Yes. Yes. Was he after God's heart? Yes. Yes. But still, he did fall into sin. Yes. Now, because he did not confess that sin, did it cause tragedies in his life? Yes. Did God send a prophet Nathan to help him? Yes. When Nathan gave him a parable and explained to him, did David justify? No. Did David hide his sin? No. Mm -hmm. He quickly confessed his sin to God and repented. Did God see David's change of heart? Yes. yes. Did, they, did God bless him after that? Yes. yes. Was the curse destroyed? Yes. So the Bible says, even though a person has made a mistake, let him come and confess his sin to God. And God who is faithful and just 
will forgive us of all our sins. Now, <clears throat> does God need to forgive my sins? Yes. Actually speaking from God's side, he has already forgiven the day he, Jesus took all our sins into his body on the cross for us and even the consequences of sin. But it is just like a person who has deposited a father, your father has deposited money in your bank account. Now nobody can withdraw that money from that account except for you. And that is why you need to go and write a check and take the withdrawal. In the same way, the deposit of forgiveness has already been established in your account by Jesus the day he died on the cross for you and me. But what has been deposited for me to experience the withdrawal of it is just as I put an ATM card or I use the checkbook or the pain slip in the same way I use my tongue to confess and acknowledge my sin before God in total repentance and God who loves me forgives me of all my sins and cleanses me from all unrighteousness means he cleanses me from the bondage, from the slavery and restores my relationship with the Father. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. The third one is in Mark 11, 25. In Mark 11, 25. Whenever you stand praying, forgive. If you have anything against anyone, so mm. that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. So, when you stand praying, forgive. If you have ought against any that your father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. So in other words confess the mistakes to others. Confess the mistakes to others who are damaged by my mistakes. Confess the mistakes to others who are damaged by my mistakes. Now, the whole kingdom of God works through love. Faith works through love. So I can speak to the mountain what to do, where to go. I can believe in my heart that I've received the answer to my prayer and I shall have it. But at the same time, the Lord says, when you have made mistakes that have brought damage to others, I must confess my mistakes and ask for forgiveness. Amen. Amen. Then the fourth one, very important. Do not confess your mistakes. Do not confess your mistakes to anyone do not confess your mistakes to anyone desiring to use it desiring to use it as a weapon to destroy you desiring to use it as a weapon to destroy you or others
desiring to use it as a weapon to destroy you or others. That is in Proverbs 10, 19. Proverbs 10, 19. When words are many, transgression is not lacking, but the prudent are restrained in speech. Sorry. When? When words are many, transgression is not lacking, but the prudent are restrained in speech. Yeah, so when I have too much of talking, then I will be opening my mouth and speaking things which are not needed to be spoken. But a person who is wise will keep everything that is not needed to be spoken. Now, how many times in our own life we have opened our mouth and we have spoken some things to some people and those very people whom you trusted have turned now and come against you and are now using it as a weapon against you. Does that happen? Yes. Hello, what happened to all my sisters? Are you all there? Yes, 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 very much. Topic, or you not like the topic? No, 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 he liked no, no. the topic. He liked it. So this is a very practical topic. Yes. Because the Bible says when you walk in God's righteousness, the blessings of God will show up and in everything you will begin to prosper. This is a very powerful topic that will help you in every day. So be careful. Even when you open your mouth for counseling, before you open your mouth for counseling, be sure that the person to whom you are counseling is not a person who will use it against you. I remember once uh, there was a lady whose husband was drinking a lot and she told one lady, please pray for my husband, he's drinking. So it was in Nino in Bombay. There was a night vision going on and they, were, they had one hour of intercession prayer and that's the time the other lady took this lady's name and shared everything that she had told her in the night vigil and the whole church was listening and she asked the whole church to pray for her revealing everything that was not supposed to be revealed and it caused a big fight between the husband and the wife because there were others who called out the husband and told him what had happened in the church So be careful to whom are you talking to. Are you listening? Yes, yes. brother. So even when you ask, uh, when it is a counselling, be prudent in what you are talking. Because that can prove, that can end up with, uh, you know, it would bring a destruction in a marriage, destruction in a home, and therefore be careful. Praise God. Praise God. Acknowledge before God your mistake. 
and talk to him and tell him. And refrain from those things again. Don't go and do the same mistakes again. Ask God to give you the strength to overcome that, that part of your life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The fifth one is Live your life by being the doer of the word of God. When I said, be the doer of the word of God, remember, there was a man named Zacchaeus in the Bible. Yes. And Jesus said, I want to come to your house. What happened to Zacchaeus? Did he repent? Yes. 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 Did he also say that from all those people whom I have taken money, I will restore to them four times? Yes. So was it only forgiveness verbally or was it forgiveness with action? Forgiveness with action. Forgiveness with action. And that is why I must ask myself, have I been a cause of damage to others? How has my mistake brought hurts and destruction in another person's life? So, ask God to help you to restore, bring restoration to those people to whom the damage has been done. And that is what we find about Zacchaeus. He said, I will restore them four times of all the damage and the mistakes that I've done in other people's life. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I think the Lord has taught us a very beautiful lesson over here. Don't you think? Yes, brother. Yes, brother. So I want you to now discuss with me what you have written and if there are any questions, then I can answer you. Isel has a question. Hello? Yes. Yeah, there is Gizel who has got a question. Hello, praise God. Praise God, brother. Praise I, God. Um, I, I have a question. Till how far, like, till what extent is agape love? Like, um, can we use, okay, what if we use unethical ways to do agape love. For example, if, if someone, <clears throat> sorry, I'm so sorry. If someone is weak and um, they're not able to write their exam and we do it for them to help them out so that they can get to the next level, 
but it's not ethically right to write the exam so but we're doing it out of love from our heart so but it's wrong ethically so is that um does okay. that count as well now let's see now let's see you did that and the person got marks and the person was able to do that exam and went to the next class okay will you do that in the next class also no okay let's say you did it in the next class also will you do it for her on the final year let's say you did it even in the final year now when the person goes for a job if the person is not capable of passing the test and the person is going for a job will you go to the job also and do it on our behalf no huh no i can't cuz she has to do her job yes. in the same way when she learns and listen when the class is on a lower level she can equip herself to take the bigger test but if she gets promoted to the next level the difficulty is going to be much more than before so what is needed is that you help her okay so that she grows yeah okay thank you brother i uh, i have one more question yes so jesus came on earth as man and he did no sin but did he have the nature of sin in him he did not have the nature of sin in him but he could have been tempted if he had the nature of sin in him then then today you are committing sin because you got the nature for example yes. a pig goes and sits in a mug will a cat do that no no so that's not its nature okay so today you and i are falling into sin is because adam was the first one who got into self centeredness and from the time he got into self centeredness that self centeredness is what is bringing forth sin in our life if there is no self centeredness there is no question of sin every time you commit a sin it is only self centeredness yes so jesus did not have the nature of sin but, but he was he born it. with it the original sin sorry yeah yeah he faced every temptation now i'll ask you when you have got a white cloth absolutely clean white milk white dress for the nuptials and a person has got some other color dress which one will a person be more careful white so imagine jesus was spotless white and satan wanted to put just one scar on him one black spot that's all and that's what he did for adam and eve okay wow so Please out come. of that white jesus still remained white till the end it it was only when adam sinned that that sin nature came into man that god had created man like jesus like how jesus lived on this planet earth the same way mankind was supposed to live on this planet earth in the same way can you believe that beautiful praise god it was only that self centeredness that destroyed mankind So that's why that's our identity in Christ. We always, we, it's so important to yeah. know our, our identity. Yes. Yes. So that identity has been restored by Jesus. But the question is, do I believe? 
Yes. Yes. And only when I believe it, I live it. Priya and Vandana. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hello, brother. Brother. Yeah. yeah. Hello. I have got this question now. You said in this point three that uh, confess your mistakes to others who have been damaged by our mistakes. So oh. do we? How do we approach that person? Like, how do we go? That person does now, not want to you, see you. What did, what did you see? The fourth, fourth one. Yeah. Do not confess your mistakes to anyone desiring to use it. So ah, if so, if the uh, other, other person is going to use that mistake of yours yeah. as a weapon against you, yeah, acknowledge it with God. Okay. So you don't have to actually go and ask. Uh, the, I mean, uh, you, confess you know, it to know, the person you've done it. Forgiveness is one thing. Yeah. Hello, asking forgiveness is one thing. Yeah. And blessing that person is a proof of forgiveness. See, yeah. what we have understood is asking forgiveness means forgiveness is done. No, 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 yeah. no. Forgiveness never completed without a transaction. Okay. The person who forgives is the person who pays the damage. Yeah. The king forgave the servant of ten thousand talent, yeah. but the king paid on his behalf. Jesus forgave us of our sins, but Jesus yeah. paid the price for that forgiveness. Yes. What is our way of forgiveness? Is I asked for forgiveness, and the person said, "Okay, I forgive you. It's done." Yeah, that's not forgiveness. Forgiveness okay. is not verbal only. Okay. there has to be a transaction where you are you are letting the person go or he is letting you go completely free without any damage to be paid okay so that only jesus can do it for us that only jesus can do it for you and you yeah. can do it for others as well who okay. has come against you all right so even though the person doesn't deserve yeah to be loved you are now during christmas time buying some uh, good things for that person yeah might be that person did not acknowledge it did not take it doesn't matter okay. you have okay. tried your own part second you are praying for that person every day yes. will the other person know no no now but if your heart condition is right will god see your heart condition yes yeah. so did god see that you are becoming you are taking that place as a substitute to bless him yes yes so yes. when you do that will god see your heart and accept that forgiveness okay okay Are you follow yes Vandana. thank you brother god bless you yes vandana thank you brother for the teachings and uh, i just wanted to share something may i yes 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 go ahead this uh, platform is for that purpose brother when i was in kamel um, we used usually have uh, this confessions every fortnight every 14 15 days and then um, once after the confession was done i heard the lord say to me confess the sins of those around me and i could not uh, understand that so i went back to my confessor and i told him that this is what i heard uh, then uh, he said he paused for a moment he said first you confess your sins because in kamel we have that uh, um, window which is closed and only we can hear so then i said father i have already finished with my confession and uh, then he paused and he said will you be able to uh, Uh, bear the consequences of confessing. Uh, he put it in other words, sorry, but this sorry, was the. Sorry, 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 say that again. Will you be able to bear the consequences of confessing the sins? And then uh, at that moment, I I did not understand the depth of what I was saying. But that at that moment, I said, "His grace is sufficient." And then I was out of Kamal, and many things have happened, and. almost 17 times the holy spirit lord took me out of my house to um, st anne's church 
uh, where Father Simon was, and I always went there, informing the church authorities that the Holy Spirit wants me there. And I suppose I believe that the Lord was uh, protecting me from fatal attacks, and I went there for adoption, for protection and provision. And uh, many things have happened in these twenty-three years, especially the last years. And it was only when Brother Vincent Lisboa he told me that. marriage contract is between three and jesus is the faithful partner it was that moment that day when i decided that i will return back to my house otherwise i want i did not want to hear about my spouse even his name would flare up anger and so regarding this confession brother many things have happened in these years where i was confessing and it seemed uh, and i uh, and by the grace of god he gave me the courage to bear it because the lord know, knows my heart and there were so many oh, times no 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 yes you are confessing for what to get delivered from your mistakes right uh yes many things there were going on no 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 i am asking you some questions yes yes you are going and confessing your sin so that the sin power is destroyed and your relationship with god is restored right actually here it was i was confessing the sins of those around me that you are not allowed to telling do them that how i was telling confess? the fault no 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 hold on hold on hold on yes. how can you confess the sins of somebody else like what they are doing around what the, what is happening around me who is doing what and what not i and actually i started writing in in to my uh, to the parish priest who was there and then i was keeping him up this was after my daddy passed away and uh, it was in 2008 and and that time uh, after i was i started writing what all i was going through and what all is happening in my uh, in the families of whom i know and what all is going on and there were times even when i three years that i was in my brother's house all the things that they were doing to you know they were not taking care of mummy properly and all that and what all they were doing to harass her and to um, see that she is dead soon and all that i was uh, because he was not listening to me i was uh, kind of telling it to the parishioners to the parish priest and to all the members of the church most of the members whoever was in contact with me so i was declaring openly that this is what is going on in the family for which they you know they rejected me they blocked my number because i was always con con confronting them with the truth of what was going on what is the right thing and what is happening so even right now two of my brothers they have blocked my numbers their families they um, they don't speak to me oh, you hear me hello hello yes. hello yes you hear me yes i have been talking from such a time long time hello 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 no one is here sorry brother. we could not hear brother yeah we could not hear now we can hear now we can hear listen carefully before you say something yes i have to confess my sin yes i cannot go and confess somebody else's sin yes the scripture never says that it is said speak the truth with love in love so so, so when the, the brother is not love, listening hello, 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 hello. listen yes. listen speaking yes. the truth with love is mm -hmm. if you know somebody is doing wrong you pray for him his salvation pray for his conversion yes brother okay yes but his sin unless he acknowledges now when the prodigal son came back did the elder brother confess his the younger brother sin on his behalf or the younger brother had to confess himself why is a person confessing he is confessing because he wants to be free from that yes a person who is enjoying sin will never come and confess because he is having pleasure of sin he will go more deeper so what is your job your job is not to confess his sin your job is to pray that he will come to for confession brother if it, it the thing was it was connected to my mother the taking care of my listen, mother listen 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 
can you can we just put it this way it is connected to one of my somebody instead of pointing this one this one this one because that's absolutely wrong to bring people in the public and tell about people you are going into a bigger curse whoever is coming for testimony please do not expose other people what they have done to you that yes. is a curse if today i tell something about you on this panel is it okay for you if it is good for me as a correction for me i will accept it brother listen are you you, you are spiritual because you are in in the convent right yes brother do do other people be will operate in the same level no brother secondly no, brother. my dear listen yes. Yes, yes. yes. A person who operates in love covers up. Now, did Jesus go and confess everybody's sin? What they no. were doing? No. <laughs> Even that woman with the who was a Samaritan woman, he did not speak to her that you are a sinner. He only said, "Go and call your husband." Yes. Jesus was never sent. Jesus never came to condemn anybody or to point finger to somebody. Yes. He came only to love everybody, and in that love, he converted the Samaritan woman. Yes. Yes, yes brother. When you use any other method than love, no, there will never be conversion. Now, did the father of the prodigal son ask him questions, or did he first hug him and loved him and accepted him? he accepted him so can i accept those people and if i'm not able to accept those people who are doing wrong the way they are and give them love how will they get converted jesus did not convert me by by sure telling my sin and my this and that he converted me with pure love accepted me the way i was and kept on blessing me in spite of me not deserving it hallelujah Yes, please. Thank you, Jesus. If I am able to touch people, no, I never ask people what is what they have done, because who am I to ask? I don't have the power to forgive. Yes. When did God make me a judge over anybody? But I am ready to accept that person based on love and give them love, and then the person says, "Why do you love me so much?" i love you so much that's what you are thinking i am not loving jesus in me is loving you because he cares for you yes thank you jesus the true spirituality is am i able to love people who don't deserve to be loved yes am i a person who is not looking at their weaknesses but looking at them just the way they are and in spite of all that am i able to forgive them and love them the prodigal son's father looking at his appearance only he knew what his son had done but he did not even ask him what you have done he just loved him and it was the son who confessed the father did not say okay first confess your sin i'll forgive you then you enter in the father accepted him the way he is yes yes brother <clears throat> and it was the love of the father that the son got converted i don't know when my connection got cut, cut off i was trying to talk 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 and then i saw the mic went mute i don't know how it went mute i don't allow people to speak these things that is concerning others you come and speak about you yes brother because it and was about confession about somebody no if you want to speak about somebody you say somebody in my life not your mother not your father not your brother not your sister we don't want this platform to be used in a way by which we hurt even more people who are already hurt yes now what is the difference between the person who is hurt and the person who i'm sharing my testimony when a person is walking in love he is covering up the other person not bringing him out 
and with that covering the person begins to wonder why did he do that to me why does he care for me and that's when the conversion takes place yes believe me jesus never never converted me with punishment he con he converted me with with blessings that i don't deserve that is why every day my question is why do you love me so much yes i don't deserve this much love why do you love me so much my yes. prayer should be lord these people are un, uh, unsaved let me pray for them how will that person come for confession of sin when he himself doesn't know the lord does that person need the gospel for his conversion that is why jesus on the cross did he pray for forgiveness or did he pray for blessing forgiveness forgiveness and how will they come the bible says how will they come uh, all those who call on the name of the lord shall be saved and how will be they saved unless they hear the the gospel and how will they hear unless they hear the, unless they hear the gospel and how will they hear without a preacher and how will they hear without a preacher unless the preacher is sent brother unless they receive the truth how will they be set free so what is your job your job is to pray that they come to an understanding of the truth yes brother if i am not able to share the truth pray that they come to the knowledge of truth when the truth comes i used to be in the gangs i used to be in totally destructive life but when i got the truth the lord set me free permanently i am sorry brother no 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 i'm not i'm not about you sorry baba i am just you said no you are open for corrections i'm yes. giving you the scriptures yes brother a person I... might say that you are right but remember everything has to be checked with the scriptures yes brother because in the scripture it is written that if your brother doesn't listen to you then take two people and if he still doesn't yes. listen to you then tell it to the church so that's what i okay. did okay okay but after doing that did he change so much so much that if he is not changed? talking to me that doesn't matter but at least the the um, uh, treatment given to my mummy that has changed Th- thank you jesus but thank you jesus the now i brought my mummy to back to my own house june 14 june 14th i came back to my own house thanks be to god and thanks be to brother vincent lisboa and um, i brought my mummy immediately next month july 11th so mummy is with me thank you jesus Praise thank god. you jesus thank you jesus and thank you brother for for making it so clear about agape love about covering up thank you thank you so much thank you love covers love doesn't yes. expose Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, brother. God bless you. Who is next, Baba? Oh, my time is up. <laughs> oh, three. Yes, yeah, four, three. No one else has raised their hand. Yeah. Baba, my time is up. Four o'clock. Yes. Is join? Is join? Why is she there? Okay, praise God. Okay. Fill me with love of Jesus. Abba Father, fill me with love of. Ah
Love of Father, fill me with the love of Jesus. Love of Father, fill me with the love of Jesus. Let us sing with joy. 